So, lessons that I learned about myself. I felt really low and defeated. I had a lesson yesterday. We had our training with some makeup and evening looks. I felt like I did really well. Well, no, actually I felt like I did really bad. I just didn't feel good about myself. It was a battle. I wanted to go back home. I felt like I couldn't do it. I felt like an outcast, so I went to bed early. Then today, I tried to be positive and speak into my day, and it went really well. I'm really, really happy today. I really enjoyed it. I felt like a professional at what I did. So I learned that I'm not a quitter. However, you know, when things get too intense, I feel knocked down, unworthy, pressured. I run away and try to move on. So. But sometimes it's not the best thing to do, but it's good to see it clearer. Just to know that sometimes even when things don't go my way, I can turn a bad day into a good day. Welcome to the last episode of the Soul Healing series that I'm doing, um, where I've been talking about mental health, anxiety and depression. Um, I've had a couple of people on the series just share their stories. Um, you know, we've spoken about body dysmorphic disorder, we've spoken about um, just uh, being in a mental institute, um, different types of depression, anxiety and just dealing with that. Um, I'm gonna just um, hopefully get a couple more people or a few people um, just from the streets and just the general public just to sort of express their thoughts and opinion. Uh, but thank you for everyone that's contributed um, it's been amazing just to have that support if you are still sort of dealing with it then you know just let me know contact me anyhow um, I'd love to just to give you you know the direction and just the right information uh, you're not alone there is someone out there that you can talk to so you know um, so today there's um, just a few more bits that I want to share with you um, and yeah then that's it I'll leave all the contact details um, below in the information uh, you know where to who to talk to how to reach out to me if you have any questions um, but yeah hopefully you will benefit from it and hopefully we will save more lives which is what it's all about so for now um, bye, but just keep following, uh, there's more to come. Thanks guys, bye. Okay, so mental health problems are growing public health concerns. And not just in the UK, but around the world. And the Soul Healing Series is here to create an awareness. Mental health problems are one of the main causes of the overall disease burden worldwide. Mental health and behavioural problems like depression, anxiety and drug use are reported to be the primary drivers of disability worldwide, causing over 40 million years of disability in 20 to 29 year olds. Um, also, major depression is thought to be second leading cause of disability and major contributor to the burden of suicide and ischemic heart disease. It is estimated one in six people in the past week experienced a common mental health problem. So please support, spread the word and create awareness to save more lives. Now um, I want to know a little bit about the public and just their thought on the topics I've been discussing. Uh, my name is Shepard, I'm a personal trainer and uh, fitness is life. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. That's really good. Um, just in terms of, because I've been talking about depression, mental health and anxiety, so, and I know fitness is a big part of it, like a lot of people work out, um, maybe just to take their mind off things or to embed themselves, like just how have you sort of experienced it or do you know friends or how does fitness and mental health sort of fit to me? Yeah, in general, a lot of people will say, obviously, Etc. Um, when you work out, obviously you're going to feel good, you're going to feel motivated yeah. in terms of uh, 
well, I say physically when you look at yourself, yeah. you feel better about yourself, and yeah. then also mentally, it's gonna get you, make you more alert uh, in terms of your life and etc. Yeah. So I'll say I've seen a lot of people where they actually use it as a therapeutic in terms yeah, of yeah. a lot of people think that bodybuilding and uh, going to the gym and stuff is all about looking good and looking great, but literally the mental side of it is that uh, you know it's something it's a hobby that yeah. keeps you tuned in yeah. it's important as well it gives you discipline in life mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so uh yeah i would say i've seen a lot of people where it's more of a therapeutic thing in terms of like uh looking more aesthetically pleasing yeah it's more to do with mental health as, as well as health so, yeah I think like a lot of people think it's like vanity, um, but like like what you're saying, it's more therapeutic. And I like what you said about self discipline because I'm sure it takes a lot of self discipline to maintain that. Yeah, yeah, it does. And it's literally you see a lot of people. I usually I had a she she really struggled obviously with how she looked and appearances and um, coming into the gym. A lot of girls as well, they are usually very, very shy and yeah. very aware of uh, people looking around them. But once you get in that nice state of uh, here, everyone is here because they're not happy with how they look and yeah. they're not happy with something in their lives. Yeah. You just see that it's literally therapeutic and, yeah. and antidepressants. Yeah, yeah. Instead of medication and stuff. Yeah, that's really powerful. Like just using working out and fitness um, as an antidepressant rather than medication. Because yeah. I think like for me, it's great for people to you know go on that if it needs to be done. But I think there are other ways, yeah. and that's what it's about is showing people that there are ways to defeat yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And we spoke um, on the series spoke about body dysmorphic disorder. I don't know if you know it much about that. Um, just in terms of like where people look at themselves in the mirror, they can see something completely different. Yeah. And a lot of people uh, maybe do surgery just to literally perfect mm -hmm. themselves. And it's all in the mind. Mm -hmm. um, and like what you said about girls that go to the gym and they don't like the way they look and they get quite shy. And it's like, well, when you realise that a lot of people are probably going through what you're going through, yeah. you start actually being free in that. Uh, yeah, um, I can say that in my turn I struggle with depression a little bit as well okay. uh, in the past and uh, uh, I've done a lot of fitness stuff in the past. In terms of what it's done for me, I found that uh, the more I work out, even if I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling low, if I go to the gym, I'm running off, if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling, I don't know, let's say just not enough or something like that, it makes you feel, it gives you a tired you feel assured of yourself because you've improved the part of you and uh, you've been know, yeah. mentally, physically, all that stuff. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. Do you have any last word for anyone that might be watching? It's good that I actually got a personal trainer here because yeah. um, <laughs> they're just different angles. Um, but yeah, for anyone that might be watching that might be going through it or yeah. they don't know where to start or, you know. Um, it's always slow. Let's see. You're always as low, you're never as low as you think in terms of where you are. And don't try to concentrate on just uh, the now. Just uh, set yourself a target, set yourself a vision, and just uh, push through no matter what. Uh, it's not about giving up, is it? It never is. You've gone through so much in your life where you, know, you thought you couldn't do it, but you're still here today. So anything say so really yeah, well, thank you so much yeah, right. um, but yeah so yeah like I said it's never too late um, you know you're not as low as you think like what Shepard says so keep going thank you so much so yeah let's keep it moving thank you. Nice. Sweet. Happy days. Happy day. I haven't really experienced it myself yeah. but I definitely know it's out there and I just want everyone to know just don't don't listen to any haters stay positive you'll get there um, patience is key so if you're in a bad spot just just take it slow you'll, you'll get somewhere eventually so yeah. yeah have you ever gone through anything like oh well you're at school right now yeah like peer pressure or anything like that or no um, people or depression anxiety I haven't gone through it myself but I've 
I have um, seen others. Yeah. yeah, definitely. What, what like, kind of impact has it been on them? Um, like, what just, kind of things have you noticed? They've kind of like separated themselves mm -hmm. from the rest. Yeah. And it's, it's really sad. Yeah. Definitely. Um, don't, don't let things like that put you down. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Roma official, um, <laughs> Roma like official, plugging always. Yeah. yeah, check out, check out the channel. Um, yeah. Vlogs, um, music. Okay, cool. Yeah. Roma yeah. official. Thank so you. yeah, thanks for that. Thank <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Roma official. So yeah, so if you at school, uh, like he's at school, and just like see people that's isolating themselves. Gone are the days when people, you know, obviously people get bullied at the moment, but it's so important that we do save lives, you know, there's so many people that deal with it and nobody knows, they isolate themselves, they're quiet, if you notice anything like that at school, then yeah, speak to the person or tell a teacher or, you know, make it known so they don't have to go through it. Let's keep going. Mental health anxiety and depression. Alright. Um, so I look like it. No. <laughs> no, um, just trying to create an awareness for people that might be going through it. Alright. Uh, if you have any word, words of wisdom, any thoughts, you know, what makes it, because a lot of people go through it in quiet. Uh, so I want to just make more awareness. What Not supposed to be a difference between us and the other ones. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Because somebody. They are saying, you know, we have to throw these guys away because yeah, they exactly. are, they've got an illness or something. Yeah. It's not. Uh, exactly, yeah. And it's, you know, it's about saving lives. So, exactly. you know, what, how do They should you have opportunities like yeah. us to, to work like us, yeah. to make things like us, yeah. even they are a bit special. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> All right, take care. Take care. Bye. I love that, and, you know, people shouldn't be segregated because they're dealing with it. Um, it's about really being a community and just helping each other out. And that's what um, he said, so that's, that was amazing. So, <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, so let's do some more. For example, I know a lot of people go through it and they don't, people don't know. So just trying to shed more light and just the fact that you do work in oh, that. Yes, I mean, what can you sort of share? I think in 2017, the stigma around mental health is still there. Yeah. And a lot of miseducation around mental health issues. Yeah. And but what's nice to see that as we move through, you know, current times, as yeah. people are becoming a lot more open, okay. um, a lot more discussing the diagnosis of a mental health illness. Yeah. I think that's really important to open up those conversations for people. Yeah. Um, there's nothing to be ashamed of if you do have a mental illness. Yeah. And also about creating options and, and choices for people so they can help manage their conditions as best as possible. Yeah. Um, you know, mental health is just as important as physical health and mental well-being. So it's about making sure it's something to be fine. Yeah. So don't be afraid to talk about it. Yeah. And are they? Is there a lot of places where people can go to talk about it, or is, does got, that need um, to grow? Well, you've got quite a few charities in Northampton. Okay. So you've got the Mind Cafe mm -hmm. on um, Regent Square. I don't know if you're aware of that. Okay. We'll, we'll put some links on that below as well. A drop-in service. Okay. Quite a online. Yeah. Um, you've also got lots of other little charities as well. So yeah. people that may be suffering from addiction problems. Okay. Um, people suffering from depression. Yeah. Um, and then obviously you've got the bigger sort of organisations such as St Andrews Healthcare as well. Yeah. So Northampton really is, you know, there is a lot of support out there. Okay. I mean, if somebody is in crisis, they desperately need help. Yeah. You know, go see a GP. Yeah. Speak to them. Okay. And if not, have a little look at online resources as well. Yeah. Because there is a lot the NHS is doing to help you. Yeah. And early intervention, getting help better. before it escalates into something. Yeah. You know, What's your name? Sorry. I'm Rachel Cooley. Rachel, yeah. yeah. So the earlier the better, isn't it? So just yeah. like speak out and, you know, Definitely. talk to someone. And what's the most common thing that you find that people sort of are dealing with? Um, I 
guess you can look at it from different perspectives. Yeah, because you know, it's a wide yeah. spectrum, isn't it? Mental, mental health. health, you know, there's lots of different diagnoses. Yeah. Um, and each one right. affects each individual slightly differently. Yeah. So if someone is diagnosed with personality disorder, yeah. it won't affect one person like does another. Yeah. So you have to appreciate the diversity issues. But when you look at mental health conditions, mm-hmm. um, a lot of people that suffer with these conditions come from sort of poorer backgrounds, okay. live in poverty. Yeah. Um, it still can affect anybody, but yeah. when you look at it proportionally and in statistics wise, um, you know, the poorer areas do seem to have a higher proportion of those that suffer with it. Why Obviously, do you think that is? Um, I think poverty has a massive effect, not just on mental health, but physical health yeah. and overall well-being. Um, and also lack of services in those areas as well. Yeah. So you do need to have an NHS clinic where there are people that are suffering. Yeah. You do need to have mental health nurses qualifying and experienced to support people and families on a one-to-one basis yeah. as well. And it's about developing those networks for our healthcare providers. Okay. And just um, one last thing. Yeah. Um, just in terms of like any parents or friends, that um, you know may have someone in the family or around them that is dealing with it. What are the signs for them to sort of to notice? I'd say changes in behaviour. Yeah. Uh, maybe isolation. People secluding themselves. Maybe more interact. But sometimes it can have the opposite effect where people are obviously going extra, the opposite yeah. way, extrovert. So don't be afraid to approach a subject. And be yeah. kind. Be compassionate. Be non-judgmental. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Is not to hold judgment on somebody with a mental health condition. Yeah. Um, Obviously, don't be afraid to go to professionals for help, yeah. whether it's your GP or um, an online charity like Mind, for example. Okay. That's Brilliant. my advice. Thank you. So, thank you so much for that. That's all um, right. Yeah, so hopefully you can take all that information that she shared with, with you and yeah, we can save more lives. Oh, um, thank you for creating awareness because we need people to be talking comfortably about it. Yeah, definitely. Well, nice all to right. meet you. Yeah, you What's your name? Sorry. Janice. I'm Janice. Excellent. Take care. That was really good. I'm so excited. You know, I managed to speak to someone that's in in it, in the system. Um, but yeah, like we're in Northampton shit and Northampton has a lot of it. So hopefully let's spread the word, share your story because that's the only way we're going to help someone else is when they know that they're not the only person going through it. We've come to the end of the season one now. Um, that's it so we've I've tried to get as much information as I can I've met some really 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 good um, people and yeah so I will put all the information all the links um, you know all any, anywhere that you can get support I'll put that in the link below um, so just you know just keep in touch just keep going you know we've gone in the gym we've gone in the streets we've heard what you know the public have to say and it's been really really good um, along with a lot of the um, places that I've been directed in terms of support wise uh, there's also an organization called um, Premier Lifeline and they are um, they are a, a Christian helpline and their national Christian helpline and um, you know I just you know, I came across them on the radio and uh, they've got really really good networks you know they they're open you know I think Monday to Friday I'll put all the information so you're able just to pick up the phone call and just get in touch um, you know to them and just speak and it's just all about creating an ear to hear um, so if you are anyone that would like to support support the movement then yeah get in touch with me as well um, and then we'll just sort of find ways just to create that support networks and just save more lives uh, that's what soul healing has been about this season one and it's been on you know mental health depression anxiety and it's just creating that awareness and i hope that i've um you know i hope that i've done a good job and i'm able to just to touch more people so that's it that's the end of the season um hopefully uh, there'll be more to come so just stay tuned and thank you for everyone that's jumped on the series but for now i see you all and just yeah have a good have a good life and um, be full of happiness and uh, try to enjoy yourself you've got a purpose and uh, there's more to it you know than what you're going through at the moment um, so your downfall is only for today uh, but there are greater things ahead for you. You've got a destiny and um, you're blessed. So God bless you and take care. Bye.